Anyway, uh, but today I wanted to uh, uh, show you, I'm, I'm working on something and I was like, eh, I could be live streaming while I work. I'm working on a new library. Uh, let me share this with you. So I'm working on Illustrator. So hopefully you can see this. Uh, let me see the comments. Can you see porn rock? <laughs> porn rock. No, not porn rock. <laughs> My English is not that great. I know uh, it's punk punk rock, but porn rock sounds pretty. Uh, I will listen to that. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, anyway, I'm working on a new library, an illustration library, and uh, but potentially I can just show you a little bit of my process and when I can be talking while I do what I'm doing. So right now I am, uh, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on. So you can see the different uh, like uh, clothing and then there's like a blue thing. That blue thing is just for me to recognize the color. But let me show you what is going on here on the layers list. So uh, I have the clothes turned on, but there's also face with expressions and there's also a head. And you can see, now it looks very horrible right now because uh, I haven't painted the, the faces. But let me show you how all this is coming together in the library. So in the library, I am, uh, you can see the blue, uh, it, it's it's supposed to be the, the, uh, the color of the background. So that way you can put on top of each other uh, the, uh, the colors, but let me just, uh, uh, show you an example of what you can do with this. Let me just uh, turn this white. I'm here on sketch. I'm doing every, all the illustrations I'm doing on illustrator. Uh, but then I'm, I'm putting them together on sketch so I can create the actual library. So for example, all of these are the same symbol, uh, and they're all put together with different components. So uh, you can see here that this is like one symbol that has accessories, has facial hair, face, head, uh, body, background. And you can see it here if you wanted to export it. Uh, and I'm going to release this soon, but um, but still like, I, like once I started playing with it, I realized that, oh my God, I need a background because uh, I want it to, to be super simple, like super simplified uh, uh, stuff, but uh, like only black and white and not even black and white, more like black and just black. But once I started putting together this stuff, I was like, oh my God, I need a background color. It cannot just be black because like without the white background, this would just like not be possible. So this is like the design of the website that I'm creating. So I started like creating the website and then it's like, oh, I have to go back and just play around with this thing and fix this because they this illustration they didn't used to have the white background so whenever i would put an illustration on top of each other it would just be horrible so i started fixing this uh and that's why you saw the blue thing the blue thing just uh was for me to recognize that there's a color or not uh so um eventually uh you will be able to change these two colors what is the 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 ink the ink of this stuff and then also the background color the background color will be right now it's white but uh for me to know which ones I have actually applied a white background I turn it blue and that way I can easily see in the whole library which ones are lacking and the same I do over here on Illustrator. On Illustrator, I'm actually putting them together. So as you can see, now I'm actually, I was doing it here with the vector tool. I was just like putting points and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to go crazy. I should be doing this in Illustrator. So I'm going back to Illustrator and actually putting it here together. Right now it looks horrible <laughs> because they don't, they look like bubble heads, just like uh, just floating around because uh, I don't know. Uh, but let me, so what I'm doing right now is uh, I put all the different uh, layers here and now I'm just uh, painting this stuff. I'm just adding the blue background. Let me see if you have any questions right now. Um, I have one of my friends, you know, okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it that uh, a couple of people are apparently fighting there. Uh, so, so what's happening here, again, let me just, go back to show you what this is. This is a library. This is one component. 
This is one component that has multiple nested components inside. Uh, and these components, as you can see, are, uh, let me actually open it here. This is uh, a person, this is accessories, facial hair, face, head, let me see if I can zoom in, yeah. Uh, body, background, all of these uh, create this one person. And since this is one symbol, then I can use that same symbol to just uh, turn it into whatever I want. For example, this one. If I wanted to, I could change the accessories. I could add uh, an eye patch. I can add glasses. I can. Th that's actually pretty funny because this is uh, an expression with three eyes. One of the eyes doesn't have a glass. <laughs> uh, different types of glasses, uh, even sunglasses. Oh, that's pretty cool. I, I hadn't even tried that that connection. That's pretty cool. Uh, but then you can also change the face. So the face could be uh, different expressions. So uh, fear, well, with, with these uh, sunglasses, you cannot see anything. So I'm going to say no symbol. And, uh, oh, hold on, no, accessories, sorry. Let me remove the accessories, that way we can see the, the actual uh, face. So you can change the face uh, all to all of these options, which creates a, a lot of different expressions and then uh, you're going to see that also the head you can change that that allows you to let me uh, scroll down a little bit more so you can see it uh, the head uh, all of these uh, haircuts <laughs> she's pretty bummed <laughs> look at her <laughs> she's not liking all the different hairstyles uh, let me change it back to something else <laughs> this is too <laughs> there you go she's excited now he, she, or they are excited. Uh, you, uh, she decides. Uh, they decide. There you go. Look at that hair. Pond rocker. Mohawk. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a, a lot of different combinations here. Um, and then you can also change what is the, the body. So the body, it's pretty much just the, like the clothing. They all are almost in the same position. Um but as you can see, the cool thing is that you can create multiple, multiple combinations. I, I would love to know the actual number of combinations you can create. But but yeah, the idea is that uh, you give in uh, you the freedom to create your own uh, little characters, uh, and then just, I don't know, create stories with them, put them in a product, create a, a comic. I don't know. You you are the one to decide how creative you want to be with this stuff. Uh, but I'll just put it out there. And, uh, and anyway, I wanted to do a live stream while I'm working. If that's okay with you, would that be okay with you? Let me check my, my little chat here. Just two people in chat, the rest is just waiting and watching. Uh, so hold on. We are live, right? <laughs> Feels very really good. So, okay, Ho hopefully there's people actually seeing here. Yeah, there's 16 people here seeing. Okay, cool. Uh, so, so again, I'm going to be doing boring work in Illustrator and talking while I'm doing the boring work. If you want to join me while I do the boring work, that's fine. You can see it. So here, I'm, 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 I created a new layer called background just to solve that problem that I was telling you that I was having with this stuff because without a background, you can have combinations like like this, for example, uh, I don't know, this one. See what happens? Since it doesn't have a background, <laughs> you cannot see the face <laughs> because it's on top of another color. Ah, oh, I should have thought about that. I knew that this problem was going to come, but I was like, no, 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 but it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. You have to keep it simple, Pablo. And then because of that simplicity, I'm actually creating more complexity. How weird is that? How life can be like that? Uh, so now I'm trying to fix that by adding a background in all the layers. So, so yeah, let's do this. I'm, I'm here on Illustrator and what I do, uh, instead of actually putting points, I'm using the brush tool. So this, uh, I don't know what it's called, it's blob, the blob brush tool. And this allows me to just like uh, uh, paint on it using the, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using a tablet right now. Uh, a Cintiq tablet. Uh, it's a 12 inch sync tablet and that allows me to just like uh, draw here. And since I'm in a different layer, it's I'm using the, uh, the, the clothes layer only as a base, as a guideline so I can just draw this stuff. So, so yeah, I'm going to move the microphone a little bit so I can draw. 
And, and yeah, I'm just here, you know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm usually much better at drawing. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because of the microphone. I'm getting nervous. I'm actually much better, my friends. So, okay. So, for example, now I finished this thing. And, and right now it looks like this. Let me uh, turn off the clothes here. You can see uh, it doesn't look that great. But all I need is just this, you know. So, uh, and then all I have to do is double click in there and remove this stuff. And now I have what I need. All I need is just that stuff so I can uh, so I can put it in the background. And then here I can come back and press Shift E for the eraser and I can erase anything that potentially is out of lines, out of lines, out of borders or whatever that is. Yeah, I don't know. It's OK. If It's OK if it goes a little bit uh, outside the, 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 the borders because it's uh it's supposed to be hand drawn it's supposed to have mistakes you know that's the beauty of it uh, but you don't want to have too many mistakes and also something that i'm going to do later you're going to see that it has a lot of vectors so i can simplify that stuff there's uh, uh you can go to object uh, path and then simplify uh simplify this guy so you Turn this on and then now you see that now there are way less vectors and you can even uh, uh, turn it less or more so, see you, it gives you an input an output sorry telling you how many vectors are there now so uh, i think uh 25 vectors that that seems pretty cool so so yeah it's another tool that you can use and now it simplifies your uh well your path because you don't want more vectors means well, uh, the file is going to be bigger too, so you don't want that either to give that to people. So, so yeah. So now I'm, uh, I'm just painting. I don't know if this is. Well, you can say this is painting. I'm just uh, fixing my mistakes with a little brush. That's what I'm doing. My previous mistakes. Sometimes uh, you want to make th uh, things simpler, and when you think that you want to make things simpler end of the day you realize that uh, no you just made things more complicated that's what you did by trying to simplicity doesn't mean uh, less things uh, we sometimes we we get those things confused simplicity means clarity that ease to use and if something is not easy to use uh, it might be because you you, you you didn't make make it easy <laughs> and, and this is what i did here i just uh, complicated myself by trying to just have one color it has to be one color um anyway cool see now it's there and i have to go on each one of these and yeah it's boring work uh but you gotta do it you gotta do it and i have no life i have no friends have nothing to do so all I have is you guys. So thank you for being here. And I mean, I don't know, for being there, listening while I'm just uh, trying to do this thing. I'm sure that uh, you could be doing way more important things. Maybe you are you're alone yourself too. So I'm happy that you're joining me here and we can be alone together. <laughs> No, uh, no, but seriously, I'm just, uh, eh, just work. I love doing this stuff. So I don't know. It's kind of relaxing, you know, just, uh, painting, doing stuff. And, uh, it feels like I'm doing something meaningful. I'm just imagining all the cool stuff that people will hopefully do with this, these illustrations once I put them out there. Uh, so yeah, that keeps me up. Uh, what about you? Say in the comments, what keeps you up? See, something happened here. I made a mistake here. This outline is too strong, and then here it's really thin. I don't know what happened there. I'll, t I'll have to fix it later. Uh, but yeah, mental note. This is weird. This uh, I made a mistake here. And that's the thing, because I've been using this brush that uh, has this touch thing. Uh, touch uh, uh, calligraphy or I don't know what it's called uh, so it it actually is pressure sensitive so see that same brush can depending on the on the how much pressure I put it makes it uh, bolder or thinner 
so maybe I was oh, pushing really strong there and then I relaxed a little bit in this line that's what happened and then I didn't fix it so so okay look at that logo it's the new computers that are out there really cool and then you have a really cool logo it's like an ice cream logo yeah that's what it is <laughs> okay okay we're almost there with this one let's see what's going on let's remove this guy there you go it's uh it's boring work but it keeps you keeps you going so yeah let me, i'll finish this and then i'll go to the comments i love this one uh i love the i want to these kind of sweaters that have like patterns and stuff they're kind of like aspirational for me i see them I see them in the store. I see them on other people, and I'm like, "Oh, that's a cool sweater." But whenever I try them and I try to use one of them, they do not look good on me. They uh, they are for other people. With me, only black and white. That's all. Nothing else looks good on me. But uh, patterns and stuff like that. Oh, I don't know. So, uh, is, is that something that happens to you too? It's just like. Uh, like whenever you put something that looks cool up there on the shelf, oh no, I made a mistake. Uh, but then when you put it on, it's like, oh no, mistake, don't do that, don't try it. Uh, yeah, so these clothes are kind of like aspirational quotes. <laughs> quotes? Am I saying it? quotes? No, clothes, clothes, clothes. These clothes are just aspirational clothes. For other people to wear, not for me. So, okay, let's uh, fix this guy. No! Apparently, it didn't close the this thing, so that's why. There you go. Hmm. You can see that there's a little mistake here. So, we don't need this guy. There you go. Look at that. I really love that feature from Illustrator. You can double-click and then you focus on this group that you double clicked on this shape and then everything else just like like uh, i don't know dims dims out uh and that way i can find those little mistakes uh another tool that i really like from illustrator is pressing command k hold on it's not k oh man command y command y yeah, yeah, yeah command y it allows you to just see the vectors just see the paths and that's really useful when you have a lot of layers on top of each other uh so yeah, I, um, I, I wish other tools had some stuff like that. Can you guess what song is that? From what movie is that song? Oh, man. Hmm. What did I do wrong? Apparently, it didn't close the. Oh, you know what? There's a little point here. You see it, right there. Little point there. They wanted to get out. Hmm. And there's also this. There you go. So did you get the song? Let's see. It. Let's see in the comments. If you were able to see the song, it's a smelly ice cream with a chocolate hint. <laughs> it is. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, so, baby first TV. So hold on. So nobody gets the song. Come on, Rafael Muriel. Were you at the Figma config? No, I was not. I saw all the photos. That all that stuff looked pretty dope. Uh, uh, I see. I just see long legs. I don't see the bodies. Oh, we're here. Uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I'm going to be like murmuring, murmuring songs along the way. So let's go back to Illustrator. So now <laughs> I have to do copy pasting, a lot of copy pasting. And that's that's how you, you get it to work. Let's do a, a couple of them. And then that way we don't have to do the live stream just full of me just copy pasting crap it's probably boring so let's do this one and let's uh i'm going to go back to this uh guy so hold on now i'm going to go back to the symbols 
And then here in the symbols, yeah, just like going to paste it here. And then it looks like it's around there. There you go. And then I can give it the style that is background. That way is the, the actual uh, uh, style that, uh, that I'm using. So, and by the way, what is the name of the layer? I, sh I should name this layer. Potentially, I should name them background. I should name them background, yeah. It's very important to have uh, layer hygiene. I haven't been very good on this file only because, well, it's not public yet, but uh, I've been trying, you know, body and then very, very intentional with my naming. That's very important. And also my layering all, uh, they all have a, a specific style and you can see that they're named color. And it is kind of organized, it's getting there, but it's really important because uh, at least for for me on this, uh, uh, and this, since this is going to be public, other people are going to be using it. I want them to feel empowered. Well, I don't know if empowered, but at least know what the hell is going on, you know? Okay, let's find this one. I cannot find this one. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. It's a uh, dress. And let's put it all the way to the background. Let's move it. I think it's around there. That looks good. Let's change the, the appearance of it to be the background. It should be background. Hold on. Am I not? What's going on? Why are you not changing your color, my friend? So I choose this one and then there you go. I don't know. That was a little glitch there. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do this one. Just a basic t-shirt one. Yeah, this one. YT. <sighs> See, why did I say YT? No, it's just basic T. There you go. Uh, yeah, and then I just paste it. I change the, the layer style to be, uh, what's going on? <laughs> Are you seeing what's what's happening? Like uh, something happens. Okay, no. Uh, so, okay, put it all the way to the back. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I see what's happening. I think I'm a, ooh. See, something that happens is that uh, when you copy paste the stuff from Illustrator, a lot of crap comes with it. See, all this stuff, oh my God, a lot of grouping. I don't need these clips. These are like masks. I don't know why uh, Illustrator creates that, but uh, that's what's happening. That's why I was having so much, so much trouble with these things. Uh, uh, it, it, I was selecting a group instead of uh, so, so let me uh, background, and then let me search. What the hell? Where are those? Yeah. So no, 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 no. This is okay. No, 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 no. no. This one. This one is not supposed to be a group. What are you doing, Illustrator? You dummy. Uh, let's change it to background. Boring stuff. I know. Na changing names. Pablo, you're doing a live stream to change names and copy-paste layers. I'm just showing you part of the process. The process, uh, sometimes it can feel tedious. Uh, but you get rewarded with a really cool library at the end of it. That's, uh, that's life, right? Life, it's like that. Hold on, is it this one? Yeah, yeah, it's this one. Uh, you get, uh, hold on, is it this one? What the hell is going on? It's not fitting. Huh. Something's, no, I, th I don't think I, I copy it. Copy. There you go. I didn't copy it. That was not copied. Let me ungroup this thing. Let me remove this f thing that is called clip. Call it background change the color to the background one there you go so now i can use those ones and with with with, with a background so i can go here and change the color of it to white uh, so now the one that is uh, shirt and coat should be 
uh, available. So I'm going to update it now everywhere where I was using that is white. And here, all my design, I'm creating this website. Uh, so in my design, I can just like uh, uh, use that one, for example. And this one, since this is a library, and I'm, I'm this is a totally different file, but in this different file, I can totally, totally use, I'm running out of battery. <laughs> There you go. Uh, on, on this file, since it's a library, I can just uh, I can make an update to the library and say yes, update components. And now I can change the this to shirt and what? What was it? Shirt and jacket or something? Yeah, shirt and coat. There you go. And it has a white background. Uh, and I can too, if I have a specific color here. That let's say that this has opacity zero. And I add it to my, to my thing, transparent. Let's say that this one, no, 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 no. I'm going to create a new one that is called transparent. So I created a new, on this new file, I create a new style that is called transparent. Well, it's not actually called transparent because I made a mistake. Anyway, um, and then here I can totally replace that uh, background with that new transparent color. There you go. And then also the head, I can change it if I want to, whatever color I'm using here uh, for my libraries, I can use transparent. And there you go. Now I can use that color. Whatever branding colors I have, I can just change it and it will just, I don't know, it will look good, hopefully. But let's say that here on my website, I also had another color as my branding color and say that it's like a, I don't know, like a purplish. I suppose this is where purples are, right? I have the color uh, deficiency, whatever you call it, want to call it, in my eyes, so I don't get to decide. I don't get to see a lot of colors. So hold on, let's create a new one and let's call it primary, whatever. And then over here, now I can, if I wanted, I don't know why, but uh, let's say that this little person, you can change it to primary if I wanted to, and then also here to primary. So this is independent of the library. On my own document, I can create new colors and just use the library with those colors. How cool is that? Or I can actually use it also on the ink. That would actually be cooler. Oh, I haven't been able to actually uh, change that. Uh, I will change it again. Anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of my process. Uh, so, Indiana Jones. Uh, yeah, so so yeah, by the way, uh, this is somebody mentioned Webflow. I'm going to put this in Webflow. Look at this typeface. How beautiful is this typeface? It's called Tiffany. Tiffany, I just bought it and I was like, I'm going to I just bought it to use it in, in a in a project. I was like, I'm going to use that typeface for something. And it's uh it's in style like uh, in style heavy italic. That's the only uh font that I bought from that typeface. Uh, let me uh, change uh, canvas and, and don't show the, the layout. Um, yeah, I just like it's so elegant and bold and strong, but still like, oh, I don't know. I love it. So uh, I, I'm, I'm really happy that I'm going to be able to use this uh, typeface. Um, anyway, anyway, let's go back here. Just me. Huh. There you go. <laughs> I'm not that great with this live streaming thing. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to continue this, doing this stuff. Hopefully next week I get to share it with you. Let me see if you have any questions on the comments. Uh, and this stuff, I thought he's drawing web was so cool. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. I'm reading the comments right now. So, uh, but yeah, uh, for uh, all of you that are out there, I'm going to be in Iceland in March, March 13, Friday the 13th. Uh, I'm going to be over there. So anyone that is in Iceland, I hope hopefully I get to see you there. Uh, I'm going to also be in Madrid. So hopefully I get to see any, everyone that is in Madrid over there. Uh, and 
yes, I am going to leave gaming with Chris. I, uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue working on this stuff. But uh, thank you so much for joining me. That was uh, really fun just uh, uh, talking to you. Unless you, uh, unless gaming with Chris, unless you tell me, hey, just continue uh, working and stuff. Uh, by the way, um, I've been putting a lot of stuff on Instagram. Well, actually, this week I didn't put anything. But uh, I've been putting a lot of comics and, I don't know, sharing a, a lot of thoughts here and there. So if you are on to the Instagrams, follow me there. Uh, but I'm leaving uh, live streaming and, and tutorials here on YouTube. I haven't, been, I haven't been doing a lot of stuff, just like work. A lot of work. But uh, but I'm, I'm glad that I get to do this kind of things, sharing my little uh, illustrations with you. So uh, I'm going to put this next week. Hopefully I release it with the website and, and I get to, we get to see that beautiful tie face Tiffany. Let me let me show it again to you. Look at this tie face. I mean, look at that beauty. So hopefully uh, we get to see open people uh, next week. I think it's going to be called open people. And it's going to be a uh, it's going to be one of those pay as much as you want, you know? Uh, and if you want to pay zero dollars, that's okay. And uh, so it's going to be free unless you want to give a little bit of money. That's what's going to be the, the library for. Uh, so hopefully uh, you get to do, to play with it and tell me uh, all the other little mistakes that I made so we can make this better, you know. And if you have any suggestions, I am on Twitter too. And you can tell me on the Twitters uh, if you have a suggestion on what illustration I should add. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. This is this has been fun, uh, and well, bye bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop streaming. Bye.